Oh, baby, look at that price with Bitcoin. We are so close, so close to hitting that all-time high, that beautiful number of 69,069. <clears throat> and then when we go into that price discovery zone, we are looking at the next major levels. Of course, those would be $75,000, $100,000. The sky really is the limit here. We're seeing a lot more institutional investors coming into play, especially because of the Bitcoin ETFs. So there's a lot to look forward to. One of the things that I want to illustrate for you in this video is not only what's going on with Bitcoin, but as well as with BNB and Ethereum. So take into consideration right now, we're very close to the all-time high for Bitcoin, but we still have have a pretty good ways to go for Ethereum and BNB. So if people are looking for nice potential plays, those uh, blue chip cryptocurrencies. I just want to really illustrate to you in this video that there is still a lot of percentage opportunity just to get to the all time high for some of these other top named altcoin blue chip cryptocurrencies. So again, we're going to focus Bitcoin, BNB, and Ethereum in this video. Now, if you are looking to maximize as much as possible, one of the ways that people do this is with leverage trading. And the beautiful thing is with the crypto exchange Margex, they have a lot of different cryptos that you can choose from. They do add a little bit more from time to time. Um, but they've got your main name cryptos on there. You have anywhere from 5x all the way up to 100x leverage trading. And there's no KYC on this platform. So if you want to get started, it's very quick. It takes maybe a minute for the registration process. And if you use my referral link and you do decide to make a deposit, it's not required. Maybe you want to just explore the website. But if you do make a deposit of $100, you'll get a $50 bonus on top of that. That's using my referral link down in the description below. This is available in many different regions. If it is not available in your region, there are people that use VPNs to get around that. I'm not saying that you guys should do that. There's copy trading on this platform. They have staking options as well. It's a nice little exchange. You guys can see some different options there. Also, you can see down in the bottom there what's going on with some of the latest crypto prices right on the homepage. That referral link is down in the description below. Now, let's go ahead and move forward looking at the charts with Bitcoin. So as we zoom out on the weekly chart, we got to actually zoom out a tad bit more here. We can see from the all-time high, we are roughly about 4 4 4.5% away from hitting that level. These color zones that you see is what's called a Fibonacci retracement. Some of you guys watching the video may not know what these things are, so I do like to elaborate on them even in future videos. And so what we see right here is that the price is the majority of the way between the 0.236 and the zero on that Fibonacci retracement. So it's very, very close to hitting that all-time high, which was uh, discussed before. We see that the RSI is a bit high, so that's a little bit of a concern, but not a major concern. And one of the bullish elements that really comes into play here is that the candle has passed above this purple line. So you see that little purple line going across there? That purple line is representative of the VWAP. And that, when the when you see a green candle pop above the VWAP, that's very suggestive of a bull signal. This is one of the leading technical indicators that a lot of traders use. So what you're seeing right here is a trading bot that I incorporated in with that of TradingView. And it gives you different potential buy, sell type signals. So you guys see like a long position here, a short position that's basically buy and sell. So we're seeing the long position on the daily, or actually on the weekly, sorry. Um, the weekly here showing that as a long, we're not seeing any signs suggesting of a short. So things are extremely bullish when you cross over multiple different key level technical indicators. And that VWAP is one of the ones that are most reputable. And so the fact that we're continuing to pop above that just keeps pushing it higher and higher. I'm really excited personally. We also see that the Bollinger Band has been expanding out even further right here. So we're seeing an increase in volume, an increase in activity. A lot of public sentiment is very positive about this. Things are looking good for Bitcoin. We move over to BNB now. And one of the things I want to point out to you here is from the all time high to where we're currently at, we are down about 40%, almost 40.5%. So that means that the room for growth just to get back to the all time high is about 40%. Anybody coming in, brand new wallet, buying BNB, if they just wrote it from here all the way to the all time high, they're looking at a 40% profit, 
a 40% increase in their position. And that's not including the fact that when we talk about BNB, historically, BNB has had a lot of tokens be burned. So that burning reduces down the supply. That's one thing. The second thing is that this is one of the top name cryptocurrencies that had some huge controversies going over the last year. And even with those, we're seeing the price still increase. We're still seeing as one of the top leading cryptocurrencies. We're still seeing new projects launching on the Binance Smart Chain. So with all that that happened, a lot of people still value BNB. They still see the potential in it. It's still making its return. And it's only about $420. So when you think about that, that it's only about $420, you really got to raise the question of, is this going to go only to around $700, $710, the previous all-time high? Or can it go way higher? Can this actually hit four digits? Can it hit 1,000, 2,000, 3,000? And you know what? It's a really good question. It's a very legitimate question. There are other competitors that a lot of people have been keeping eyes on, um, such as that of Polygon and Solana, seeing if they have potential moves. People also talk a lot about with Chainlink. So these things still get put in the spotlight. You've also got rising emerging things like Caspa. So the market can shift, yes, but as it is right now, BNB has been around for a decent amount of time. It's established itself. It's gone through some headaches. It's made its recoveries already coming out of that, looking like it's willing to keep moving forward. So it's a little bit easier to trust something like this rather than some other tokens that haven't really proven themselves um, going through those different hurdles yet. So me personally, just my own opinion, I'm still very bullish on BNB and looking at something like this, it's looking quite good. RSI is higher, but again, we're taking a look at Bitcoin, seeing how it's making a strong rally about to hit all time highs. Essentially, that's helping pull a lot of these other cryptocurrencies with it. And then we also go ahead and zoom in a tad bit here. We take a look, that purple line, that VWAP that's going on, and this is just barely breaking above it, but it is breaking above it, and so things are looking quite nice. It's only up 0.65% on the day. I think that is largely because of the fact that so many eyes are over on Bitcoin, just trying to see if everyone can try and help push together, break that record. It's even just nice something to celebrate, but as we get closer and closer to this, there's going to be more concern that right before we get there, we might see selling pressure or just as we pass above it, it might end up having a huge crash. There might be a lot of liquidations as uh, people just get a little bit too cocky thinking that it's just going to make a strong run. So uh, a lot more volatility expect on the day. And then we move away from BNB. Let's move over to the Ethereum side and then we'll go into that article. So going through this one pretty quickly, we can see that it's down 29.54% from the all time high. That is not as much of a percentage difference as that of BNB. So again, BNB is down about 40.38% sitting at about a $420 price. And Ethereum is down about 30%, 29.5%. And uh, it's currently up 1.87% on the day, but it's got a price of $3,555. So if you're very new to crypto and you happen to be watching my video, the good news is that if you decide you want to participate with any of these cryptos, you don't have to buy a full token. You can buy a fraction of it. So like 0.01, etc. It's totally dependent upon what your budget is. If you can only afford a dollar's worth, you could technically get in on something like this for a very low amount. The only problem is that if you're going through something like Ethereum, you might have to pay a lot of gas fees depending on where you're buying it from. And then you're like, well, I don't even have enough money for the gas fees, right? But yeah, Ethereum is still very bullish. It still has a lot of room to go before it tries to get into the price discovery zone. There are many people out there that believe that Ethereum can overtake Bitcoin someday. Uh, me personally, I still think Bitcoin will hold its position, but there are many people that disagree with me on that and that's totally fine. And there's a lot of people that support it. Right. So let's go and move over here now to the article. I'll include a link down in the description below. If you're not familiar with Cointelegraph, they cover so many different things in the crypto news. You can check out a lot of their other articles as well. Bitcoin price near $67,000 as new uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust Bitcoin outflows past $550 million. BTC price advances steamroller towards all time highs despite a fresh rebound in GBTC Bitcoin outflows. Bitcoin pushed above 66K at the March 4th Wall Street Open, despite reaccelerating outflows from its largest institutional investment vehicle. So analysts eye Coinbase, Bitcoin price rejection. 
Data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and TradingView tracked Bitcoin price upside building on an already strong day, hitting $66,483 on Bitstamp. The market had made swift gains after the weekly close and was up 5% on the day at the time of writing. With all-time highs less than $3,000 away, market observers suggested that what could likely come next. So Venture founder, a contributor to on-chain analytics firm CryptoQuant, suggested that Bitcoin might copy the events of a week prior, where snap gains resulted in volatility after the United States' largest exchange, Coinbase, crashed. Almost 1% funding rate and $31 billion of open interest. Get ready for 69,000 ETF buying squeeze up. Coinbase circuit breaker and flash dump in the same day again. Same roadmap as last Monday. Today is easy. The rest of the week will be hard. He forecasts on X, formerly Twitter. Keith Allen, co-founder of Trading Resource Material Indicators, meanwhile preserved his more cautious tone, eyeing where Bitcoin could correct. We're seeing a class cup and handle pattern forming on the macro chart from the all-time high, he wrote in his own ex-post, echoing venture founder's sentiment from earlier. Uh, this is a nice little bullish indicator too, guys, if you don't know about the cup and handle. So you can see this very large bottom section, which is considered to be the element of the cup, and then the handle is off on that right-hand side, so it's a little bit of a drop down and a pull up, uh, and then that has a further continuation. For this pattern to form, we would need to see at least some sort of pullback from the double top at the all-time high. Technically, it doesn't matter if it's a 3% or a 30% correction to form the pattern as long as a handle forms. So Allen nonetheless acknowledged that the market may ignore psychological pressure and continue beyond the record highs of $69,000. The caveat to this idea is that it is quite predictable. So the market might not give us the easy trade because it likes to punish as many other leveraged traders as possible, he concluded. With that in mind, I'm looking at a break back into the macro channel as a potential point of rejection. That's currently in the $74,000 to $75,000 range, but if it takes a while to get there, that line moves higher. And Bitcoin price ignores surging GBTC outflows. Notably on the day was the BTC price upside marching onward despite increasing outflows from this grayscale Bitcoin trust. After declining markedly in the second half of February, March saw outflows reverse trend with a tally for March 4th passing half a billion dollars. Outflows from Grayscale definitely re-accelerating again above 60K. Popular trader Dan Crypto Trades wrote in part of an X reaction uploading GPTC data from crypto intelligence firm Arkham. Friday saw the first bigger net outflow day at negative 139.6 million, mainly due to another big outflow from GBTC at negative 492.4 million. GBTC remains the largest Bitcoin investment vehicle by BTC Holdings, despite these decreasing daily since mid-January. Its holdings, as of March 4th, per data from monitoring resource CoinGlass, totaled 428,540 Bitcoin. That's worth approximately $28.9 billion, so a significant amount of money. I am bullish. Are you guys also bullish? Do you think that today is the day that we hit that all-time high? pass above it, even if it's for just a brief one second, half a second, a tenth of a second. Do you think we're going to hit the all-time high today? Or do you think that there's going to be a little bit of a pullback just before we get there and we're going to have to fight a little bit longer to get to that? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Again, I'll have the link to that article down in the description below. You can find my referral link to Margex down in the description, make a deposit of just a hundred bucks. You get a $50 uh, referral bonus if you make that deposit. If you just wanna explore the website, you don't need to make a deposit. You can play around with the website. And then you also got the exclusive trading group, HG Access. They talk about a lot of different cryptos in here. There's some high level traders. You can see what kind of plays are looking like they're on the table. And there's about 2000 members. You can find the referral link to that down in the description below. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Double shout out, thank you to We Love Victor Vegas and Worlds of Risby for being higher level patrons. Thank you to my YouTube members for your support as well. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.